Hey guys, welcome to part one, Aladdin story. I just bought it from Amazon. Let's start. On a starry moonlit night, a dark figure named Jafar led a cunning thief to a secret cave in the desert called the Cave of Wonders. Afraid to go in the cave, cave himself, Jafar or Gazeed. But as Gazim moved towards the cave, the, the tiger boomed. Only one may enter here, the diamond in the rough. Gazim hesitantly stepped inside. Suddenly, the tiger head entrance collapsed and Gazim, Gazim disappeared under the sand. I must find this one, the diamond in the rough, the box said. The next morning, in the marketplace in Aqaba was full of people. An orphan boy called Aladdin stared at a local dress. His tummy rumbled. He reached out, stop thief, shot the sultan's head palace guard, and Aladdin raised away. Yeah. Back in the palace, someone did have problems. According to the law, Princess Jasmine needed to marry a prince before her 18th birthday. I want to marry for love, the princess told her father. Maybe I don't want to be a princess anymore. Jafar was secretly plotting to take control of the kingdom. The sultan tried to consult with his advisor about his daughter. Jafar told the sultan that he could help, but he would need the sultan's mystic blue diamond ring to do so. Before the sultan could ask why, Jafar hypnotized him long enough to get the ring. Hypnotized until... మిస్టీరియస్ Jasmine decided to sneak out of the palace. The next day, she wandered into the market and found a small boy. Smiling, she grabbed an apple from the fruit stall and gave it to him. She didn't realize she was meant to pay for it. Thief! cried the stall holder. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing in my store? Aladdin turned up just in time to help. She's just confused, he said, and pulled Jasmine away. Suddenly, palace guards grabbed Aladdin. Jasmine turned to the palace guard and hand him by order of the princess. Stunned to learn her true identity, Aladdin could only look back as the palace guards, who were following the fast orders, hauled him away. The guards locked Aladdin and Abu in a deserted dungeon. Just then, an old man appeared. He offered to make Aladdin rich, rich enough to impress a princess, if Aladdin would do one small errand for him. When the old man opened a secret passage, Aladdin agreed to help. Aladdin and Abu entered a huge treasure chamber, the Cave of Wonders. A magic carpet playfully tucked Abu's tail, then hid behind a pile of gold. Maybe you can help us, Aladdin said to the carpet as he looked around. See, we're trying to find this lamp. The carpet led Aladdin and Abu to take a deep, Abu to a lake deep in the cave. As it, as it's at its center was a huge atlar of rocks with a lamp on it. Aladdin crossed the lake and crept up, crept crept up a set of stairs. He carefully approached the lamp, but it didn't look at all that impressive. Just then, Abu saw a statue holding a guru, a glowing gem. He had to have it. Abu, no! Aladdin shouted from the top of the stairs. Even a carpet tried to stop Abu, but it was too late. The ground rumbled and it shook violently. The carpet caught Aladdin and Abu and raced toward the cave entrance. But before they could escape, Aladdin fell frantically. He grabbed for a hand, who was begging the old man for help. First give me the lamp, the man said. Aladdin handed it over. 
The magic carpet caught the tumbling duo as the cave entrance and closed. Entrance closed, and everything became still, chattering excitedly. Abu happily revealed the lamp. Aladdin rubbed the lamp to get a better look. Suddenly, sparks flew, smoke swirled, and poof, a genie appeared. Just like Aladdin's tummy is rumbling that time, my tummy is too rumbling. Mom, I want some food! So what will it be, Master? The genie asked. He explained that Aladdin could have three wishes. Aladdin didn't know what to wish for. Guys, actually, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe in the link below. And also, write in the comments if you like the story. See you in part two. Bye.